Hey, it's Mike back again in The Sims 3, and as you can see, we're actually not building a brand new house this time. We are renovating my old dream house. This is actually from 2011. It was my supposed dream house, and for about a year after this house was built, it was my dream house, and I actually really liked it. And now I'm coming back and kind of doing a whole new thing. I'm completely renovating it from the inside out. So this is my new series. Um, I kind of have put my Let's Build a Houseboat on hiatus for a while, and I'm trying something new out. And actually, I'm doing a whole new way of uh, doing these videos as well. Uh, basically, I'm doing a post commentary, and also I'm speeding up the build process by two times, just so that's a little more interesting and a little less lengthy. But in this case, it's actually a more lengthy episode than what I plan to do in the future. But hopefully you enjoyed this a little bit better. Um, basically doing it this way allows me to give you a little more of an interesting, a little more of an interesting com commentary than you're used to seeing on a uh, full Let's Build a Houseboat episode where I'm just kind of talking while I'm building. So I can actually tell you now what's going to happen. And as you can see right now, we are deleting all of the interior. The uh, whole interior will be deleted. And uh, as you saw before, the windows were all deleted as well as the landscaping. So basically we're starting with an empty shell and we're building upon it and doing a whole lot more with it. And I actually like it a lot when this episode's over with. It looks uh, a lot nicer, even though we didn't do a whole lot with it. Um, uh, yeah, I really, I really like it a lot. So, as you can see, how bland and boring this house was, and this is, this is it. Like this is the house that, as it was back in 2011. Um, and I mean, I definitely improved in my building skills since this. So, I'm really eager to keep working on this house because, as you can see there, the skylight, which is no longer functional because of the. Uh, the Sims 3 seasons with uh, you know weather can come into it. I plan on utilizing a lot of the skylights from Into the Future in this house. And as you can see, we just jumped over to um, one of the first editions. I basically had to rebuild this house a second time because I thought Fraps was recording the video, but then I found that it wasn't. So I had to basically rebuild the house a second time and I did make a few mistakes along the way, so I did cut out some parts, including this part. So right now I'm just fixing that error that I made. I basically just um, built it a little too far away from the house. But as you can see, we're utilizing this kind of big room that, you know, that juts out from the house with the stone on it. That was actually uh, one of my favorite areas of the house when I did uh, build this house the first time. Uh, I loved the uh, the big windows that came out the side of the dining room and kitchen, and I I really want to keep that when I renovate it. So I'm just adding on to it, and actually that room is going to become the f new entryway. Uh, so basically, I'm moving the entryway over to where the dining room used to be, and now we're just you know fixing this up, uh, building the walls again. And as you can see, we're uh, really not doing a whole lot right now. Uh, by the end of this video, we only get a few small areas done. I'm hoping by the end of episode 3 to have the entire building of the new structure completely built. And then we can start furnishing, or actually maybe doing landscaping during episode 4. And also, I plan to have two episodes of this series per week, starting next week. So this is going to be um, tomorrow, well, today is uh, a Tuesday. So every Tuesday and Thursday, starting next week, I'll have an episode of this series out of my channel. Now we're adding a small roof over this house. This is actually the first house that I'm using uh, a sloped roof you know you kind of have that constrained floor elevation slope that you can get if you um you know you can do curves you can do slopes with constrained floor elevation and actually oddly enough this house would have used constrained floor elevation but at the time i actually did not know how to use constrained floor elevation so uh kind of funny that uh you know what i could have done you know i knew actually some things that i was going to do uh, with this house if I actually knew how to use CFE. Um, 
But that's basically the reason why this house looked so boring and flat before because I had no idea how to use it. But now we're adding in this kind of patio area uh, using that same wall, or actually we moved the wall back a couple of spaces and I'm putting in a patio that um, it was going to act as a nice kind of doorway out to the out of the house from the new living room, which is going to be moved over right behind the patio inside. And now I'm just uh, deleting all the interior walls because it really doesn't matter anymore. The interior was kind of a mess anyway, so I thought I'll just redo that too. And as you can see, there's a lot of blue inside this house. Um, I actually did get a complaint one time on this house video that there was too much blue. And, you know, I agree, there's a lot of blue and my interior designing really wasn't that good back then. So I do plan on completely overhauling the interior. Uh, and as you can see, now we're adding in the entryway. And uh, basically, if you saw the house before, we completely moved the entryway to the right side of the house as opposed to the front, the old front. Um, so it's totally different now. I plan on turning that whole uh, big block of room where the, you know, where the dining room was before into a dual, a double story um, kind of void with big windows and a you know, nice uh, living space right when you walk in with a staircase going up to the second floor. And now this is when I'm actually starting to add in the kind of sloped roof. I'm doing the first, you know, nice feature of the roof. Uh, I'm also utilizing the uh, skylights from Into the Future, actually. So that was kind of nice. I'm really happy they added those in because, of course, uh, skylights are definitely something that uh, are nice features for a house. And I'm also adding in another wall here, just extending that out a little bit. Um, off to the right side in future episodes, I'm going to add in a an area where there's going to be a fountain, almost you know, fountains jutting out from the house over rocks. So it's going to be a really cool idea. Um, in the original plans for this house, I was actually going to put some sort of water element in this kind of area, and I never did it. So um, I really want to do something nice uh, for a water element over here when I re when I renovate it. Now I'm adding in some areas where there's going to be balconies coming off of all three floors. Uh, and this house actually is going to have a basement, a full basement, uh, this time around as opposed to just a garage. Mainly because, you know, with all the different features that I'm adding, I, I definitely think that the floor plan is going to be very much decreased by the time I get finished with all of the, uh, the floor planning and building the new structure so I definitely have to add more space somehow. I'm also going to be putting in a full dining terrace off to the right side as well. The kitchen's going to be moved off to the right side of the house as well, so it'll be a really nice uh, area to entertain people, and it should be really nice. Now I'm just putting in the skylights, so I'm kind of going to lower this ground um, with the constrained floor elevation sheet, and using stairs to um, to lower the ground. And I'm also using the platform to just add that extra little piece of detail. And as you can see, it's just really crazy how um, much detail was added just by doing those small things. Of course, you know, any kind of detail at this point uh, would really enhance this house. So now this is probably, I think this is actually the uh, the time when this is done. I did a whole lot of different um, 
uh, changes to the, to the heights of, of all the walls and stuff. And I think this is where I left it. I'm not sure though. But as you can see, it is a nice uh, detail element. Um, and there's going to, there, there are going to be a whole lot more of those sloped roofing, uh, roofing pieces as well in the future. Uh, and I'm also going to be putting in a full uh, curved roof uh, using constrained floor elevation in this episode and also in the dining tiers part, which will be next episode. And I think I'll be putting skylights in in just a minute. I think I'm just playing around with the... Uh, Trying to get the uh, walls to fit correctly. Here we go. So now I'm actually going to put the the uh, skylights in, and this whole entire room is going to be a big void throughout, and um, it'll be just a really nice way to bring all the light into the house. Of course, uh, the skylights don't actually bring any light into the house, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, at least the windows well, and the skylight should give like an impression of light coming in. Oh, and also, if you didn't notice already, the house is actually lowered. Uh, I did actually lower the whole entire house uh, from where it was because, like I said back in that time, 2011, I had no idea how constrained floor elevation worked, so I had no way to actually lower the the ground, lower the actual uh, floor, uh, walls. So I just kind of um, had three a three height wall, uh, three wall height house that really didn't look all that good, but when you, when you lower the whole house, it does make it look a little better and look less tall, you know, so it just makes it uh, a little bit nicer. Now I'm just kind of uh, putting in the sunken in garage, and uh, uh, if you notice, this uh, garage is actually in the exact same spot as the original garage was. I wanted to keep uh, certain elements the same. Also my master bedroom, of course this is my dream house, so I had my own master bedroom that I built and that's actually right above the garage and that it's going to stay there in the same place just so that you know there's some sort of uniformity and some sort of like similarity to the original house um so that you know i can kind of compare it at least so it doesn't look entirely different and now we're actually uh, building the uh, entire top of this patio area, which I think looks pretty good in the end. I use the sloping walls again. And also, I'm going to be split leveling this whole part of the second floor, which is going to cause for quite a bit of, of irritation later, but um, I think I can kind of get it to a point where it will connect to the second floor pretty painlessly. Um, I have to do it so that, you know, it doesn't look too bad because, of course, the, uh, the walls are going to warp when I do connect them. But I really have to say that, by far, this is my most complicated roofing on a house. Uh, I've done plenty of modern houses, plenty of traditional houses, and this is definitely my most complicated roofing system yet, and I'm not even halfway done with it yet. So uh, hopefully I can kind of get the hang of it so that we don't spend too much time on getting all of the uh, building done and start getting into the actual furnishing. And as always, if you have any suggestions for this series, please tell me down below. I really love to hear all of your suggestions of what I should do with this house and all my other houses. Uh, of course, I really love doing these Let's Build series because uh, I can really get your feedback because there's so many different episodes in a series, whereas when I'm just building a house in speed build form, um, I really don't get that interaction. So please leave all your suggestions down below. I'd love to hear them.
I spent way too much time on this part just like trying to flatten it out to the right height. And also it really was being a lot a really very finicky too with all the stair placement and stuff. Uh, I do like though that they started adding in the um, I love that they added in the one stair stair set, so you can press Alt and it will only place one stair, so that way you can do a lot more detailing with um, with slopes and all that stuff. It's really nice. And very soon we're actually going to go into the last part of this episode where it's where we start building the uh, the detail elements of the master bedroom over the master bedroom. So the you know curved roof and all that stuff. And that took me so long to build. Uh, of course, when I first built this house and perhaps didn't record it, it actually didn't take me too long. But then when I you know started recording it again, um, I messed up quite a bit. So. Uh, I, I cut a lot of stuff out um, so that you didn't have to watch all of it, <laughs> but it did turn out pretty good in the end, but I'm not too sure about the whole sloped roof. Now we're moving on to the top of the master bedroom and the garage. Now I'm changing up the uh, the structure of this piece right here. Um, like I said before, I keep the overall shape of the master bedroom, but I do have to do quite a bit of restructuring to actually get it to, uh, to fit in with the rest of the house. Um, but I do like it in the end. I think that it's a pretty good, pretty good um, improvement over what it was before. The one drawback though is that in the end, uh, the second floor of the master bedroom is kind of uh, unusable in a way. I think I guess I guess I could actually um, use it as a second floor, but it's kind of weird how it's placed. And I think that you know adding stairs in uh, past the um, split leveling would be kind of uh, space wasting a lot of space. So I think that I might just leave it alone as kind of a dummy floor. Now we're adding in the uh, platform where I'm going to put the. Uh, skylights. I just I love the skylights. They're just the best things. <laughs> if you don't have Into the Future yet, I really recommend it because the skylights are just such a great thing they've added to the game. And again, my only drawback is that they really don't uh, add any light to the house, so that's a big problem. Um, so you can't use them as windows, unfortunately. They're only used as rugs to kind of allow transparency. And now comes the part that took me the longest. I cut out about half an hour of just sped up footage of this part alone, of the building of the the walls and then the kind of curved roof. And in the end, I actually don't even know if I like the curved roof. I think it turned out kind of bad. So I may actually be taking it away, but please leave me a suggestions after, you know, after the curved roof is built and tell me if you think it should stay or go because I really don't know at this point. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see, another detailed wall going in. This is the reason why I don't think this floor is usable anymore. It's just, it's there's so many split levels that I think that any kind of staircase that you have to put through all these staircases, all of these split level floors would just take up so much space and really not make this the floor even worth using. Um, but we'll see. It all depends on how how uh, how much space I actually need. Now we're doing the same thing as we've been doing, uh, doing more cur uh, s sloped ro uh, roofing pieces. And there we go. So that's another side done. Uh, it's taking me forever to actually build all these things. And um, hopefully next episode I'll get the hang of all these new CFE tricks and I can build them a lot faster than I am now. Like I said before, this is twice the speed that I'm current that I currently can build. So um, uh, this is I could go faster uh, if I sped it up more, but I think this is a good enough speed for a let's build. Um, I don't want to go into the realm of speed build with this because I think that um, it's not totally necessary. Now I'm doing the sloped roof and this took me like I said a long time and I don't even know if I like it. I think it turned out okay but I think I have to do a whole lot more improving on it in order to keep it because it's not as good as I thought it would turn out. I was actually thinking of using these, uh, the short wall as actually a patio. So utilizing the two short floors as one floor and having a door kind of come out from underneath and let the um, the underneath the under part of the uh, sloped roof act as a patio, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to work or not. Um, we'll have to see in, in the end. And now this this is actually one of the hardest parts I did, uh, making this loop all the way down to the bottom. It took me forever to figure this out, and I'm, I was so happy when I finally did it. And I think the result turned out pretty nice looking. And now the final part of the video where I'm just kind of bringing this back a few, uh, a few. actually I brought it back already and then now I'm bringing it forward again. I pretty much messed with this part of the house quite a bit. Uh, I couldn't find the right length to go, with, to go with this. But I think in the end it's a pretty good length and it allows for some split leveling down to the bottom. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part one of Let's Renovate a House. I'll see you next time in part two.